own internal annals brag that the Manhattan Project, or the plan to create the A-bomb, was hatched inside this building known as the Chalet. The Strategic Defense Initiative, better known as Star Wars, was also the brainchild of Grove members and was born inside the Chalet. Our source worked at the Grove in the summer of 2004 and the summer of 2005, and he was able to obtain two program covers for the cremation of care ceremony, as well as a 2005 membership list, which reads like a who's who of U.S. and European elite. Former President Jimmy Carter, former President George Herbert Walker Bush, President Bush, Henry Kissinger, George Shultz, the list goes on and on. When it came to create the modern equivalent of the Philosopher's Stone, to master alchemy at its highest level, changing one element into another, changing uranium into plutonium, one of the highest secrets of alchemy. Where did the S1 Uranium Committee of the Manhattan Project meet? Well, they of course consummated their alchemical knowledge in the Bohemian Grove. Amongst ancient trees, grown men listened to the manic laughter of Satan, wearing owl masks and black robes. It was here, at Bohemian Grove, that the consummation of thousands of years of alchemical atomic research took place. Nothing less than the birth of the bomb. American author Michael Hoffman, in his book Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare, speculates that the golem fetus may have been placed inside a giant 25 foot long, 12 foot in diameter canister, which was photographed at the Los Alamos atomic bomb test range. This mysterious canister was nicknamed Jumbo. It was made of solid lead and cement. It is conceivable that the fetus was placed in the center of the canister and then irradiated with the blast of the world's first atomic bomb, thus infusing the demon child with what Kabbalists call the demonic force of atomic fire. You have a grandstand seat here to one of the most momentous events in the history of science. In less than a minute, you will see the most powerful explosion ever witnessed by human eyes. The blast will come out of the horizon just about there. And this is the significance of the moment. This is the first full-scale test of a hydrogen device. If the reaction goes, we're in the thermonuclear era. For the sake of all of us, and for the sake of our country, I know that you join me in wishing this expedition well. It is now 30 seconds to zero time. Put on goggles or turn away. Do not remove goggles or face first until 10 seconds after the first light. Minus 15 seconds. Minus 10 seconds. Five, four, three.
two years later, Parsons revealed to his mother that his golem child had lived and that it was female. A fan of ancient Indian mantras was the Jewish evil genius Robert Oppenheimer. His team of Manhattan Project scientists took advanced alchemy to its absolute evil limits. Robert Oppenheimer and his Jewish scientists, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, named the first atomic bomb Trinity. Was this in reference to the Christian Trinity? Or is it a veiled reference to the Great Beast, the Scarlet Woman, and the Antichrist? Welcome to what Alistair Crowley called the Eon of Thelema. Thelema is the Greek word for willpower. This, as we shall see in the third volume of the Illuminati, is the age of Thelema, where the whole of humanity is being processed, bombarded with images of death. This is the new world order. Thank you. 